Welcome back. Let's talk about the Broncos and their hairstyles and what motivates their look. I had a chance to meet up with one of the Broncos barbers who makes house calls, cuts the player's hair in their locker room, and even at a shop in Littleton. And he let me sit in on a few haircuts with some of the Broncos, where we talked about what looks good and, of course, football. You've seen the styles of Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr., Packers outside linebacker Clay Matthews, and Raiders running back Marshawn Lynch. But there's one man that controls the hair destiny of the Broncos elite. This is Louis Romero. I make myself available and I'm at your service, you know, not 24-7, more so 25-8. Setting up his workstation as he waits to cut a well-known client of his. Meeting somebody new every day face-to-face, -face, you know, if you're feeling down on your luck or whatever, I feel like um, whether you're having a good day or a bad day, um, barbering, we get instant gratification. During the season of Super Bowl 50, Romero started cutting the hair of a few players and coaches. Derek Wolf, think at this point probably the entire offensive line, you know. And since then, his client list has grown to about 50 players, including the coach. Coaching staff. Vance Joseph being his first season uh, came into town and um, again knowing that there's a barber available um, we were able to link up and network and um, have been cutting his hair since he got back over in Denver. While he says there isn't a lot of pressure cutting the NFL players hair he admits seeing his well-groomed work on TV never gets old. Super cool I can't lie when I first saw it the first few times you know I was a super fanboy like any any other fan out there you know um, seeing your haircut or your work on TV but um, now it's more of a, a regular thing, you know, so um, it's a little more of the normal now. What's good, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like those kicks. On a recent trip to Fade, an American barber shop, defensive end Derek Wolf stopped by. Dude, your hair grew back way faster than, uh, than I expected. I know, man. But, uh, say Wolf gets his hair cleaned up whenever he feels like it's time for a good trim. He just fades it up. That's really all he has to do. I keep the, I keep the top long. But he already has future plans for his hair. I'm eventually gonna dread this, so it's really long. Just to do something new. I'm gonna wait till the season's over though. Look like a Viking. <laughs> then I start watching Vikings. I'm like, oh, yeah. I want that. So naturally, I had to ask Wolf who has the best hair on the team. I mean, it's probably me. Yeah, I'd agree. I got the best hair. <laughs> Easily. While Wolf is known for being an intense player on the football field, that does not affect his hair decisions. I don't really like do anything with my body for his intimidation. I just I think my play just is intimidating enough. You know that's, and I'm, I'm not really out there trying to be a tough guy. I'm just trying to be myself. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to play play hard and play hurt, whatever. You know, just do whatever I can to help the team. That's when Wolf also started to open up about this year's season. That's that's all that really matters. I just want to win, so it's been tough. It's been tough not winning, you know, no, nobody's falling, nobody's losing faith or anything. It's like people are just like, man, what the hell? It's like we come back to work every Wednesday, you know, ready to go. We put in a week, a good week of practice and then Sunday comes around and, you know, we go out there feeling good about it. And things just start going wrong and it's, we got to believe, fans got to believe, organizations got to believe, everybody's got to believe. But at the end, after about 45 minutes. I took it tighter than last time. Just yeah, it looks good, man. To make it last, obviously. So, Wolf's okay. hair is tamed, ready for the week ahead. Appreciate you, As man. he leaves the shop refreshed and focused on helping the Broncos become a winning team again.